Hi, welcome to this FX Argo Trader demonstration of the Excel Control Suite in conjunction with the Daily Pivots Pro product. Um, we're looking at the um, Shift Control feature within the product at the moment. Um, this video is just going to talk about how you can control the calculation basis for the pivots. Um, so let me uh, load up a chart for you. You can see here we've got a cable 30 minute chart with um, we've got a main pivot group displayed on the chart with the calculation data this um this pivot group was calculated between the uh, between midnight on the 12th and 2100 hours on the 12th of the second so we've got a 9 hour window of data which has been used the reason we've used 9 hours is because today is monday and if we look at our calculation basis um, by, look, by clicking on pivot systems going to pivot calculation control and you can see here that we've skipped Sundays um, so that means the system will automatically exclude Sunday bars within the, the actual pivot calculation and obviously trading on Fridays typically lasts up until about 2100 hours GMT hence you only get nine hours of full trading um, so We've obviously got on the, on our time shift controls here. We can adjust the start and end calculation times by plus or minus x number of hours. Um, we can also show the calculation point on the screen using a dot. So in this case, we're showing calculation points for the main group and also group one. And um, we can also show or control the, the colors and the size of the data. In the in the calculation data display, um, so let's just go back and load up some additional pivot functionality. So, for example, if we want to enable a second pivot group, um, we can just click enable, and we'll we'll have say Fibonacci pivots for this group. We'll call it Group One, and we'll just nudge the actual pivot labels by say minus. Three. We want to show M levels, and we'll draw the lines as rays going into the future. And if I just accept those changes, okay. Now you can see the Group One pivot data is now displayed here. Uh, it's using the same calculation basis. Let's just change the uh, layout of that a bit to make that a little bit clearer. Let's just make him a little bit bigger and we'll put them in the same position as well. Okay, that's better. We can now see both pivot calculation data groups there. And you can start to see the subtle changes you get depending on how you actually use the pivot. So, this you can see here we've got an S1. Um, pivot group here and it's interesting looking at the way that price action tested the level almost exactly so using multiple pivot groups is makes a lot of sense let's also add a third pivot group in here and we'll use standard calculation basis for these ones um, and we'll name them group 2 G2 and we'll shift them over to the right a little bit so they keep them out of the way and we'll again we'll use a ray so we're going to our pivot control and the states are four hours behind us so therefore we need to move our calculation times by four hours respectively to simulate EST based timings um, so all we do is subtract four hours. Minus four, minus four on our second group, and show all the data. I'm just going to go back in and change, add a color for our calculation point there. Okay, so now we've got all our pivot data being displayed, and we can see here we've also 
lay it over um, some pivot shift data to simulate EST based pivots and this is quite interesting when you start to get a you can start to see how the market starts to react to certain levels um, certainly Fibonacci levels have been well adhered to today um, and also you can see here got a high here around the M3 level on the EST based pivots which is our, which is our second group again um, and in the same way the M3 level on the main pivot group which is using standard GMT based pivots is also being adhered to so obviously there are, you know there's a there are different traders in the market who are looking at all of these levels so if you don't have the levels you can't see them you can't understand what all the different nuances are on a, on a given day so that's just an example of how the um, shift calculation is used or can be used using a combination of um, EST based standard pivots, GMT based standard pivots and Fibonacci pivots based upon GMT calculations so quite a lot to get your head around here but um, interesting stuff and uh, it a lot, gives a lot of insight into kind of hidden levels within the market anyway uh, if anyone has any questions please don't hesitate to get in touch info at fxalgotrader.com if anyone's wondering why the lines are flickering a little bit it's because my machine is seriously slow when I'm recording um, these presentations so there's a little bit of delay on the redraw um, anyway uh, I look forward to hearing from you cheers